The Samsung Galaxy A13. So just like the previous version I had of the Galaxy A03, the Galaxy A13 looks like this. At least this is the package. And it also has a 24 month warranty for Africa. Now let's see what's inside. So the first usual thing as with every phone is user guide, which is in this small box over here guided the price and main i don't know but according to this quick start guide it says we should have a device which is the phone itself the usb power adapter the usb cable eject pin and well this so let's see whether it's true so we have the phone which is right here uh the weight is kind of the same with the Galaxy A03. The screen size is quite the same. It has a 3-pin charger and a USB Type-C cable. No external cover and no earphones. Sorry, you just have to go and buy an external cover and buy your custom earphones as well. Now, let's turn on the smartphone and see how it looks. Now, let us see the refresh rate. According to the settings that it has, it has a refresh rate of 60 hertz. Yes, it's 60 hertz, but it feels quite smoother. Now, the screen size is 6.6 .6 inches. And if you look at the back, it has uh, four lenses at the back. And the camera itself is 50 megapixels. And the front one is 8 megapixels. Now, let's see how these cameras work now the clarity of this uh, samsung galaxy 13 is quite good it has the portrait mode the normal uh, photo mode it, it also has the video mode the macro mode the pro panorama food more sections okay there are no there are no more camera modes now based on the zooming capability of these lenses i don't know if you can see this but this is much much uh, better it's not quite perfect actually let me take a photo of just one thing and see and show you how it actually looks like now the camera can go up to 10 times uh, zoom of course if you zoom into an image it's going to kind of uh, lose its quality but based on other phones that i've seen this is actually much much better even if you zoom into an image now let's go to the video mode and see the kind of videos that it can actually take so if you come here to the video settings it has the hd and the full hd mode and both of them you can film at uh, 30 frames per second and it also has the uh, the dimensions you can try the full screen mode or even if you want to adjust the ratio to one to one ratio or even 16 by 9 which is the normal uh, video which is the normal dimensions of a video you can still opt to choose the one that you want Now, if you come to the pro mode, uh, it has these, uh, these three levels which you can adjust according to the, kind of, uh, to the kind of quality you want. You can change the ISO, the exposure value and the white balance. As you can see, it has a variety of them. All you need to do is just scroll and use that one, the one that you want. It also has the panorama mode, which I'm sure works great as well. Uh, let me just take a photo of one and see how it looks like. Okay, so this is not the best photo in the world, but uh, it's much more better. It's much more better, so if you decide to capture a panorama photo, you can go ahead and use uh, the pan the panorama mode now the selfie camera on the other hand uh, has the same modes the portrait photo video and the macro mode and i have to say this one is quite <laughs> the selfie camera as well is quite awesome 
if you need to do a vlog as well you can go ahead and use the selfie camera let me just take a photo of the with the selfie camera and see how it looks like and actually you can it says here that if you place your palm on the camera it automatically takes a selfie now this phone runs on Android 12 and I like the way this interface uh, behaves. You, you don't have to keep pressing uh, back in order to come back to the home screen. All you need to do is just swipe and swipe again. And if you swipe down, uh, it will bring the, the system menu over here. As you can see, it has the Wi-Fi, the data, and it also has the battery saver as well down here and all these other features which I'm sure are quite available on other smartphones that we have seen. The bedtime mode over here, uh, what it does is it adjusts your brightness in order, in order for the phone to be, uh, for the phone screen to be viewable comfortably at night. Now the variety of apps that comes with this phone as well is quite big. When you come to my files, let us check the storage. It has uh, 128 gigabytes of storage, like I said before, and uh, four gigabytes of RAM. So this is one kind of a phone that you can run uh, some of the heavy applications that are available there and it will still run smoothly. And I think this phone will be great if you are the kind of person who likes installing a lot of installing a lot of games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I believe it can be able to hold a lot of that weight. Now the phone itself comes with a 5000 milliampere battery, which is uh, quite good and reasonable. Uh, for this kind of phone. Uh, it has a USB Type-C charger, which I have already mentioned, and it's quite fast charging as well. So I believe you don't have to expect this phone to run out of juice very quickly. And even if it does, it has adaptive fast charging capability, and therefore you don't need to wait for a very long time for your phone to charge. Now, when it comes to security of this phone in terms of uh, lock screen, it has a variety of uh, security types. For example, it, this one has a fingerprint sensor at the, at the right side of this phone. So it's the power button and at the same time, it's the, it's the fingerprint scanner. And it also has other types of screen lock types, which is the face recognition, the password, pin, pattern and the swipe as well. So that's pretty much it about this phone. It goes for around 22,000 Kenya shillings all the way to 23,000 Kenya shillings uh, depending on the seller that or platform that you have used to buy it. I have to say in my view it's a very great phone. If you are looking to spend a budget of 20,000 Kenya shillings all you need to do is just go for this uh, Samsung Galaxy a13 thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this phone in the comments section down below uh, like this video if you have liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video stay tuned and keep it ironics media